An 18-year-old girl from Herford in East Westphalia, Germany, lived through a nightmare that is hard to imagine. She was raped by six men and a woman. Two of the suspects, both Iraqis, have already been arrested. Four of the suspects have German citizenship and one German-Syrian. A statement from the public prosecutor's office in Bielefeld. The crime occurred on August 24th in a car in a parking lot near a large disco. Since then, several search warrants have been executed and evidence has been secured, which is currently being evaluated. According to the media, the suspects recorded each other during the rape. The videos they recorded have already been recovered from their cell phones. On the other hand, another gang rape took place last Saturday late at night in Iserlon in the Sauerland region. In this case, the victim is a 30-year-old man currently being treated in hospital. The investigators' findings so far indicate that the act was primarily intended to sexually humiliate the victim. Police have issued arrest warrants for four Iranian immigrants in the case. Two are still at large. Statistics show that at least one person is gang-raped every day in Germany. According to the Ministry of the Interior, the phenomenon of gang rape can be attributed to people with a migrant background in 78.1% of cases. In 2022 alone, 789 such crimes were recorded in Germany. Anyone with an ounce of common sense knows that this kind of social migration is dangerous and Western countries are finding this out. Germany's reaction? On one hand, the relocation of illegal immigrants to neighboring countries. Up to 10,000 of them were recently transported to Poland by German police. On the other hand, sealing all of its borders. Perhaps it falls to me to say more. As an advocate of good Polish-German relations, this kind of activity is unacceptable from the Polish point of view. Because, after all, I have no doubt that it is the internal German political situation that causes the sharpening of these measures. However, these assurances do not convince the Poles. After the beating of two of our compatriots by foreigners in Shrem, civilian patrols took to the streets of other cities. Their members visited, among others, the boarding school in Zaniemyśl, where immigrants living there allegedly filmed 12 and 13 year old girls in front of the local school. In Środa Wielkopolska, on the other hand, a minute of silence was held in memory of a well known and respected dentist in the town who was murdered in July by an immigrant from Moldova. They're afraid for their own wives, mothers, daughters, and it's such mumbling on these issues by Donald Tusk and his whole coalition that people are becoming certain that this is a deliberate effort to break up the Polish nation, and Poles are instinctively making their own decisions. Poles are also taking matters into their own hands near the border with Belarus. They are organizing similar patrols in search of illegal immigrants who are encouraged to cross our border by the Lukashenko and Putin regimes. Konrad Wąsz, Republika.